Hello, Kenya. How are you? Hello. Hey, how are you? Yes. Fine. Great. Excellent. Tell me, uh, how was your day? What did you do today? I was work work at today. Uh, middle of the day. You work today right? at middle of the day. Ah, yeah, because it's uh, like a holiday today, right? Right. Yes, it's true. Ah, that sounds really good. So, do you have time uh, during the day to free yeah. time? And how was the traffic today? I relax. The traffic. The traffic was relaxed. That's really good. So you uh, got home early. Yes. Ah, oh, that sounds really good. Okay, great. So, tell me. Uh, what did you do on your weekend? I do the they do the homework the uh, the home home I stay in my home and eat the laundry and the wash the dishes. Okay. Uh, um, weekend relaxing, right? Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, that sounds really good. That sounds really great. Okay, so um, did you watch a uh, movie in your weekend, maybe? I watched the series, The Last of Us. Okay, and how is well? What is talk about it? It's it's cool. It's the zombies. It's about zombies. Okay, do you like zombies? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that sounds really good. Okay, so. Do you think that the zombies are uh, scary? They are terrified. No, I'm. I don't scare the zombies. Sure. So you are not afraid of zombies. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a monster that afraid you? That you think that is afraid? That is scary? Yeah, the ghost. The ghost? Yes. Okay, why? I don't know. It's her. Uh, no. <laughs> it's terrible. The things to the the other people or the other other creature. It's in the house or or the in the place. Okay. Okay, well, yeah. I think that, yeah, it, it's quite it could be difficult or easy and easy uh, because you didn't sell them and they are there now. Or maybe, uh, how to say it? Well, do you get the fire of them because maybe some of them are a bad a bad gas something like that and you you get terrified no yes yes okay well that's that's true okay so what do you think about about the witches do you believe in them mm, so so in the um, town, in the my father's, I speak to the witch in the in the fly in the night. It's uh -huh. a ball or um, fire in the cerro. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So do you think that they are how to say it? They are evil? No. No. So what do you think about them? About they? They mm -hmm. are the, the normal people. They are normal people. Yeah. Okay. So the only difference is that has a, um, I don't know, like magic? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, maybe, well, I, I maybe yes. I don't know. Well, I don't believe on on, on magic or on gas and all of these things. But maybe it could be true. Maybe they are they are good. They are on good way. Okay. So what about what about monsters? Did you believe on them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, maybe I believe to the, the ghost or the witch or the, um, I don't know, to the, um, um the um, the monster or the lake the monster and the lake okay so do you believe in what is the name of this monster that is in the lake on in the scotland is the oh what's the name of this monster do you remember the name of this monster that no. lives in the scotland <laughs> lake nessie Oh, yes. Do you believe in Nessie Monster? Yes. Do you think that the monster continue living in that place? In the lake? In the, no, well, not the lake? No. In the no. ocean? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I, I think the same is... Maybe nowadays it's impossible that they, the Messi believe in the lake because it's really smaller. Yeah. Yes, don't have enough food. Yeah, maybe. Okay. So, what about, what do you think about, well, I don't know, about vampires? Do you believe in them? Uh, re repeat the question, please. Do you believe on vampires? Mm, no. <laughs> no. So you're sure they, they, they didn't true? Yes, didn't. It's, it's yeah. false. Or or maybe I, the, ex, uh, exit. In the past, maybe the year the year six in the past, and why now today nowadays? Because it's uh, very difficult to the, live in the um, in the today. Yeah. It's really difficult that they live today. Why? Because the technology, te technology, it's mm -hmm. uh, different, and I used to the the tech of the different people. Okay, yes, it's true. Yes, 
but maybe because well imagine they uh, could be a, per, a rich person because they live for a really long long time so they didn't have enough time to save money no and yeah. maybe they have the the money to the enough money to spend to didn't get uh, well to didn't um, That the technology didn't detect them. Maybe, no. It could be a. Uh, well, it could be. Podría ser. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. So. What about? I don't know. I I don't I don't know other. Other. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, by the way, so tell me, Kenya, uh, do you have questions, comments about we learned the last class? No. Okay, so uh, today we are going to do an exercise. So the last place, just say me that do you want to a... Uh, do you want to make a review about um, about the propositions that we learn, right? Right. So in this case, we are going to meet a review about the go, the verb go, with some prepositions. So give me a second. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to share it. Mm. Can you see my screen now? Yeah. Okay, so we have here, go on prepositions we can use prepositions we go by to on on four now we learn a, that we can use with these prepositions for example in the case of go by like here this is go to go by no go by both go by train go by bike go by car so uh, we usually use go with by to, ta to talk to the person uh, take a uh, train a bike car in the case of go to we use go to and the place you now for example go to rondo to school to work or maybe go to bed and other places could be the restaurant, a meeting, a party. We use go on to say uh, a day, for example, in this case, a holiday, go on holiday, a, a trip, a tour, it is go on, it's to go out, no? similar to go out. No, go, go on a trip, go on a tour, go on a holiday. And we use go for to say an activity, go for a walk, go for a drink, go for a swim. And the other ways they use go, for example, go home, go ab uh, abroad. We didn't use go to home, no, for in this case, go home and go ab ab abroad. And the next, the next that we learned was to use the go next to birth uh, in general, for example, go uh, shopping, go sizing, go swimming. And we have here some examples. For example, he always go sightseeing. Go, but to do this activity, sightseeing. That could be similar to this. No, go for a walk, go for a drink, or go walking. Has the same... Um, 
all the same use, no? Go for go for a walk or go walking. So we have two options. You go for or go and next to the go to activity shopping. And it's really different when we learn the preposition to. Now, for example, in preposition two, we learned that we can use go to and activity. Now go to, uh, no, no, it was with other bird different to go. It was with other bird different to go. For example, one to each, need to go out, no, and whatever. But in this case, we use, when we use go with two, now we can say a place. Do you have questions, comments, Kenya, about it? In, in, in Spanish? Okay. Uh, and el go on sería ir entonces a un, un lugar y el go to es como hacer una actividad. Ir a hacer una actividad. Go to y una actividad. Pues más bien sería ir a un lugar. Go on. Eh, lo usamos para decir, eh, por ejemplo, para continuar algo. Por ejemplo, eh, podría ser um, más bien para go on para continuar con una actividad. Podría ser, a diferencia de... Eh, Go to. Go to es para ir a un lugar. Go to London. Go to work. Go to bed. Para eso usamos go to. Pero en este caso aquí el go on, por ejemplo, lo tenemos para eh, holidays o ir a un viaje, a ir a un tour. Uh -huh. Go to es para especificar. Eh, el lugar, por ejemplo, eh, por lo general, una escuela, un colegio, una, no sé, la universidad, eh, o, por ejemplo, eh, un estado, pero un estado de una acción, por ejemplo, go to bed or go to sleep. Ok. Yes. Yes. That's clear. Yes. Any other questions? No. Okay, so we are going to do this activity. We have uh, some blanks and we have some sentences with images. For example, they go to school bus every day. They go to school bus every day. Entonces la idea es completar el ejercicio. ¿Dudas? ¿Preguntas? No. Ok, when you get ready, tell me.
Uh, write it to check. Okay, so do you have the first day go to school? By bus every day. By bus. Or class went a ski went a ski trip to the mountains. Uh, two. Or class went to a skiing. Let's go. To home. To home. It's very expensive to go a guide for of a guide tour of Paris. Uh, for to to go for to go for a guide tour of Paris. Yeah. I would really like to go to London. London. My parents were arguing, so I decided to go for a walk with my dog. And in winter we go to a skiing every weekend. To skiing every weekend. So we have here the answers. By bus went out went on a skiing. Let's go home. Let's go home. And go on a guide. Go to London. Go for a walk. And go skiing. Ok. ¿Por qué? Vamos a verlo un poquito más. Eh, un poquito más. Go by. Lo vamos a usar. Para. How to say it. Go by. Um, well, go by. Está bien porque es go by. Y luego un transporte. Ir en un transporte. Go by. Go on lo vamos a utilizar con, en ciertas frases para referirnos a ir a un viaje o algo similar. Por ejemplo, en la segunda dice nuestra clase salió o se fue en un viaje de, eh, a un viaje de esquí. Entonces aquí en este caso por referirse al viaje tiene que ser on. Lo mismo para, it's very expensive to go on a guide tour of Paris, porque va relacionado a, a un viaje, una excursión, un viaje, vacaciones, crucero, whatever. Ok. Pero también go on, lo utilizamos para, es muy común que se re, utilice go on strike. Go on strike, strike se refiere a un, eh, como una huelga. Strike. Entonces, esa sí es muy, muy común. Si se refiere a, se van a ir a huelga, go on strike. Eh, ahora bien, go on sí se puede utilizar para algunas actividades. Eh, por ejemplo, drink o eating. Eh, porque lo utilizamos para referirnos a que, pues, van a, a, a ir a comer pero por lo general es como comer afuera. Go on a eating, ¿no? O go on a drinking. Um, o por ejemplo, actividades como eh, shopping o spending. Sí se puede utilizar go on. En el caso de eh, go to... Go to lo vamos a utilizar para lugares, para, eh, por ejemplo, go to work, go to school, uh, the store. Eh, and always, always is go to bed. No, para ir a la cama, go to bed. Y en el caso de go for, go for va a ir seguido de un sustantivo, que en este caso va a ser una actividad, como lo vimos aquí. Go for a swim. Go for a... Por ejemplo, puede ser go for a breakfast. Podría ser. Eh, go for a... Go for a drink. También puede ser. Eh, go for a run. Eh, go for a ride. Like this. 
whatever. Entonces, go for siempre va a seguir de una actividad. No, walk, run, ride, eh, lunch, swim, drink, whatever. A diferencia de go, los gerund, que sería el gerundio. Que por lo general, por ejemplo, puede ser para deportes, ¿no? Puede ser en ese caso como swimming, como deporte. Go shopping, porque es una actividad. En este caso, shopping se refiere a actividad. Entonces, es similar a go for. Claro que sí es similar, pero cambia mucho la forma en cómo se utiliza. Go for y luego la actividad eh, o el verbo, pero en infinitivo. Y go sin for va a ir en gerundio. ¿no? Go for eh, a walk o go running. ¿no? En este caso, cambia mucho el, el, signific el significado. Si dice go for a walk... Salir a una caminata, a diferencia de go walking, salir caminando. Cambia mucho de significado, pero se utiliza de cierta manera para referirse a la actividad. Caminando o a una caminata. ¿That's clear? Yes. Eh, y en el caso de go, pues lo común es que en home se utilice go home. De hecho, eso lo vimos en... Eh, cuando vimos las preposiciones, vimos que lo común cuando es ir a casa es go home. Sí se puede utilizar go to home, pero lo ideal y lo adecuado es decir go home, no go to home. ¿Vale? ¿Queda claro? ¿Queda más claro? Yes. yes. ¿Any questions? No. Ok. We're going to check this, maybe. This activity similar, I'm sure about it. Yes, interest. No, it's not. Okay, so we're going to do other activity. Do you remember that we learned the use of go? And next to go, we learned a, well, más bien utilizamos preposiciones para movimiento, como por ejemplo, in, out, up, and down. Mm, yes. Yes. Ok. Por ejemplo, go in, ¿te acuerdas para qué lo utilizamos? Go in. Ajá, go in para... ¿Para qué eh. utilizamos go in? Creo que era para... Eh. Entrar, ir. Ajá, y luego go out. Es para salir. Para salir. Bueno. Uh -huh. Y por ejemplo, go up. Um. Up, go up. Go up era para... I don't remember. Okay, maybe do you remember go up and go down? Go up and go down. Up and down. Up es para subir y go, go down es para bajar. Ajá, go up, subir, go down, bajar. Okay, that, yeah, that's true, really easy. Mm, what will, will be other activity do? We use the do, but this low auxiliary, and do and task, not is really easy. Other, make, no, that's really easy too. Ah, yeah, we learned the use, well, we learned the difference to come and go. Do you remember it? Mm, no. Come and go. Come, for example, come in. Yes, este. Es entrar, no? Come, 
coming. Ajá. Entonces, ¿qué sería come y qué sería go? No, eh, el go es para entrar y el coming es como adelante o atrás. Sí. Ajá, come in, adelante y come out. Atrás. Atrás. Más bien salir, ¿no? Por ejemplo, come out. Sa salir. Eh, lo vimos en un ejemplo que decía, you put your money in and the ticket comes out of the machine. Yes. Ok. También vimos el uso de eh, com. Estoy revisando el, el libro así de rápido. Come back and go home. Do you remember it? Um. Come back and go home. Come back. Come back is uh, regresar. Ajá, uh -huh. y come home. Um, es como uh, regresar a casa o ir a casa. Exactly, come home, ir a casa. Mm, bueno, regresar a casa. This is true. And come back. Y puede ser otro, eh, otro lugar diferente. No, come home, definitivamente es casa. Ir, regresar a casa. Y come back, pues es regresar y a tal lugar. ¿no? Por ejemplo... Eh, come back. Arno, come back. Come back, Mexico. Come back. Mm, come back to restaurant. Whatever. Right? Right. Okay. I get an image. I'm going to open it and I'm going to share my screen in a second. This is an image. Can you see my screen? Yes. For example, aquí tenemos Park Sarvels, we come, come up. Diversity is often not a topic that comes up in the conversation. Come in, he finally came into his own. He was 25 and played constantly well. Uh, no, there's not many other, other emails. Give me, a, give me a second, I am checking in. Ah, mm -mm. uh, yeah, I get it. No, this is better. Give me a moment, I'm going to share to other image. This is, this is better, this is more clear, this is clear list. Can you see this, the, the image? Yes. Okay, so we have here, crossovers with come. And we learn now come up, now for example, come towards, not to approach. For example, I was standing on the corner when Nick came up and asked for a cigarette. Come up. We have here, for example, come on, progress to develop. For example, the new garden is coming on nice, nicely. Come out in, for example, in the, well, in this case, is be afflicted by. He's come out in sports. Uh, come up on. Now, be full to affect, to happen to. For example, e pray no harm will come upon you. Uh, okay. Again, come up. Come towards or to approach. Come up. Aquí, um, pues no significa regresar arriba, ¿no? Más bien 
eh, se refiere a por mm, ejemplo estaba sentado en la eh, esquina cuando Nick mm, es en su It's like aparece, ¿no? Y pregunta por un cigarrillo. O se acerca, ¿no? Approach, acercarse. Eh, se acerca, aparece. Eh, any other could be. Well, I don't, I don't have. Well, tiene que ser aparece o se acerca. Come towards to approach. Aparece cerca. Entonces Nick se, se acerca y pregunta. Más bien me pide por un cigarrillo. Me pide un cigarrillo. En el caso de come on, ¿no? que se refiere a un progreso, a un desarrollo. The new garden is coming on nicely. The new garden is coming on nicely. Eh, tenemos aquí come out. Pero pues come out in. Porque come out es eh, salir y come in vimos que era entrar. Pero juntos come out in se refiere a estar afligido por. Por ejemplo, he's come out in. Come out in. Eh, tenemos aquí lo que vimos de este lado acá. Come upon, que sería eh, before, to affect, to happen to, afectado, que pasó algo. Before sería eh, algo que pasó. Before, pues tiene el mismo significado que happen. Pasó, sucedió. Por ejemplo, I pray no harm will come upon you. I pray no harm, harm will come upon you. Pray, it's a. Eh, yo oraré. Or, orar, entonces, yo oraré. Este. No, I pray no harm. You come upon you. Yo oraré, voy a orar para que no eh, te lastimes y no te, eh, no te pase, no te suceda. Right? Right. Okay. No harm will come upon you. Tenemos aquí come into. Por ejemplo, eh, Monday doesn't come into it. Que sería, come into, sería similar to be a factor in. Be a factor in. Money doesn't come into it. Eh, come into se refiere a... Com, en este caso, ser un factor en o corresponder. ¿no? El, el dinero no... Eh, no le corresponde, no le corresponde. Come into, creo que también significa heredar. Come into. Pero en este caso, eh, tenemos doesn't, no le corresponde. No, no es de right. Ok. Come on, come around. Come around, like recover, a consciousness would come to. For example, after the blow to my head, I took a while to come around, come around, come around. Recover consciousness. Eh, recobrar conciencia. Por ejemplo, dice después de... Después de... Um, blow to my head sería como de haber explotado podría ser de haber perdido el temperamento este yo 
tomé un minuto para recobrar la conciencia. Entonces, después de haber explotado, ¿no? eh, yo tomé un minuto para recobrar la conciencia, para pensar, similar to think. And come over. We just come over when affect. For example, I apologize for my behavior last night. I don't know what come over here, cover me. No sé qué me afectó. No sé qué me pasó en este caso, ¿no? No sé eh, qué me pasó. I apologize for una, me disculpo por mi comportamiento la noche pasada. No sé qué me pasó. No sé qué me afectó. Come out of. Come out out, out of. It's for to develop from something. For example, I have something good can come out of this mess. I have something good can come out of this mess. Yo espero, eh, yo espero que algo bueno pueda... Mm, pueda ocurrir, pueda, pueda pasar to similar, no, porque tenemos this mess, and mess is like, eh, como desorden, como, en este caso, como, al referirse de algo, puede ser como de una actividad, como de un enredo, una confusión, entonces dice come out of to develop podría de podría traducirse como yo espero que algo su, algo bueno suceda para eh, revelar este enredo podría ser podría ser I don't know to... Es que no, no es... Eh... No se refiere a arreglar, sino que algo bueno salga. La oración, espero que algo bueno salga de este lío. ¿Ya? Ok. Entonces aquí tenemos eh, el uso de come con diferentes... Eh... Preposiciones. Nosotros vimos come in, come out, vimos come back and go home y po como podemos ver tenemos diferentes, eh, diferentes otras expresiones que podemos utilizar con come. Porque habíamos visto, por ejemplo, que debíamos come from para referirnos a eh, la nacionalidad. ¿no? I'm from Mexico o I come from Mexico. Oh, I'm from Mexico, right? Right. Pero también, como vemos, pues tenemos muchos, muchos, eh, muchos personal verbs. Entonces, vamos a hacer un ejercicio con los que hemos visto. Déjame, busco una imagen. Facilísima. Imagino que tengamos varias actividades. Give me a second. By the moment, do you have questions, Common Skinny? No, it's clear. It's clear. Okay, that's really great. That's really good. But I don't find an activity similar. Well, we get some of you just to come in, to come out.
maybe something like a classroom or something like that. I don't find any good image I used to come in and out. Mm. Okay, now I don't find a really good image, but we are going to um, invent or make up some sentences using come in, come out. Uh, go up, go down. Uh, we are going to write one, one sentence, one sentence by each one of them. Okay, so we are going to use. Uh, let me give me a second. I'm going to share my screen like a whiteboard. Mm. Okay, we are going to use the prepositions that we learn. We learn the go up, go down, come in, come out. Come back, okay, up, down, in, out, back. The other was a go, go in, go out. What do you learn more? They add the go to, right? Go to, go for. Go to, go for, go, go out, right? Go out, go, go up, go up too, right? Go up, yeah? Yeah. Go up, so uh, go out. Repeat, oh, oh, up. Ah, yes, it's true. Go up, go down. Um, in, out. Ah, go and get it, right? Yes. Go CNG, go for get And... And that's all, right? Right. Ok. Entonces vamos a hacer para cada uno una oración, ¿vale? We come in, go back, go up, go down. Entonces para todos vamos a hacer una oración. For, ex for example, I go up. Ok, the last week... When I go to the doctor, I need to go up the stairs, but I I didn't uh, I didn't give the good a good step, so I fell down. No, podría ser. Oh, for example, uh, go for I. Uh, then two days ago, I go for a walk with my pet, but a, I don't know, but my per, but my pet start start bus barking because soft uh soft uh, uh, squirrel, no. So la idea es hacer una oración, pero una oración eh, un poco extensa. Sencilla, puede ser sencilla, 
pero algo un poquito extensa. O sea, que tenga una historia corta. Ok. Questions, comments about activity? No.
Mm, ready, teacher. Okay. So, can you take a peek by each sentence and can you read them loudly? Yes. Go up the hill to see the sunsets. Okay. But first, can you take a peek at the activity, please, and send me by WhatsApp? Yes. I want to see the grammar too. Thank you, Kenya. Okay, so can you read the first, please, Lodi? Go up. Go up. They fall to see the sunset. Mm -hmm. Go down. Go down the hill because it's darkness after the sunset. Okay, yes. Yes, okay, go to. I went to cinema last week because I promised watch a movie with my friends, my friend Thomas. I promise, I promise to watch. I promise to watch because promise is verbo y watch is verbo. Entonces, para conectar los verbos, hay que conectarle un to. I promise to watch a movie with my friend Thomas. Go for. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, go for my friends go for runs every morning because it's healthy it's healthy exactly falta la l healthy healthy yes <laughs> go out go out the fragrance store because it's i really is too much uh, sick because I really lose so much sick. I go, I I got, I got a little so much sick. I got a little, I got a, I got a little so much sick. Okay. I got a. Okay. The next. I go swimming every mm -hmm. summer in the lake. Uh huh. Next. Uh, I come in coffee shop because I like drinking a hot coffee. Okay. Yes, it's true. I like drinking. It's it's okay. Come out. I come out in uh, Rosalba's home because it's very hot inside. Okay, and come back. Uh, my brother come back at home in two months. Okay, yes, can we come back at home or come home? My brother come home in two months, okay? Okay. Okay, thanks so much, really easy. Questions coming, Kenny? No. No. Okay, so we are going to finish the class. I don't know if you have questions, comments about. No. No? Okay, so we are going to finish the class today and we continue tomorrow. Okay, have a nice day. Well, nice night. I have a question. Uh, did, did you have activities on Recreo the last week? No, I. The the check today in the mm -hmm. after to the class uh -huh. 
and you didn't have activities the last week. Yes. You did, okay, I'm going to ask because I think that the trouble is with all, with all uh, I don't know if it's uh, toothpaste or something like that, because uh, the uh, one student said you that didn't have available activity all the last week. So I'm going to ask if it's a trouble on the page or something like that. And well, I guess that this week you're going to have a activity on the trail. Okay. Okay. Well, so see you tomorrow, Kenya. Thank you for being here on the class. Take, Take care. care. Bye.